Hey everybody, it is Justin, your guide into the other side. This week is going at light speed. We have a lot of things to recap. Um, you know, there's the Magic Eden XU um, partnership. There's also the 10 KTF Grail launch. There's Serum City and other side Legends of the Mara loot. So we'll just kind of go out over everything, kind of recap things you should keep your eye on, especially if, you know, you're looking at any of these things. But basically, um, you know, I know the Magic Eden wallet just dropped today, which is Monday. Um, so that's going to be really interesting, especially uh, how we see them implement the ETH marketplaces. Um, and then there's also the Grail 10 KTF PFPs. So we're going to kind of go over the traits and, you know, what they look like. Um, and then, of course, if you have a board ape, a mutant ape, an oath or a mutant hound, you'll be able to play Serum City when that launches on February 1st. Um, all you got to do is just mint the free uh, Serum City Pass. Um, and then there's also, last but not least, the Legends of the Mara loot mint. So if you have loot, if you are getting the ship parts or the ally loot, um, then you'll be able to mint those this week according to the Yuga Labs uh, gaming update. So um, let's just kind of go through every single thing. I'm sitting on my fighting deed. I'm just kind of uh, fighting off my mosquito boss here with... 28 days left on the leaderboard, uh, you know, at the very end of February, everything's going to kind of come all together. Um, and we're going to be able to, I, I hope we're going to be able to evolve our Mars into Coda Mars. That's probably gonna be a new collection. Um, you know, that's going to be crazy to see how power scaling works. Um, you know, see what loot does. Um, so there's a lot of stuff at the beginning and the end of February. This, this, month is just going to be ridiculous um so again i would just definitely check out all, i'm totally fubar on grabbing any of the ally loot except for the serum city boxes so i'll probably just grab those when that comes out hopefully i actually grab one um and then of course feel free to keep farming those or keep hunting for those uh, weapon and hull parts. So we're going to be building ships. So that's also probably going to be a new collection. We're going to be able to build those ships and we'll have to see what those do inside of other side at some point, but that's going to be really interesting. So, uh, let's just kind of recap sediment fragments. If you are farming sediment fragments, a uh, bio and chemical are out at the moment and then there's, there's only rainbow cosmic and infinite left at about 40 to 50 percent um we don't necessarily know what fragments are going to do yet so we'll have to wait for information about that so just keep in mind this week is only for the loot uh not the um sediment fragments so um just keep, let's keep moving on so i wanted to drop mid week update big Big thanks to Brazy for shipping out the awesome, awesome sweater. This is my, this is a, this is a new sweater by Forever Apes. Um, you know, Brazy NFT. Oh my God, so so good. I'm so excited. Uh, this is gonna be my Forever sweater. My other one was falling apart. I can't see the. Okay, whatever. I'll just post it on Twitter later. But anyways. Um, if you wanted to grab a custom one of one sweater, um, especially if you have an ape, if you have a mutant, um, if you have any type of, you know, building brand, then by all means, I would definitely check out the super dope uh, luxury sweaters that we got here because this feels really good. Um, but by all means, I'll have all the links in the description. So again, this was super sick. I love all the Made by Apes products that are coming out, especially this one, because um, I have one and it fits, it fits clean. So uh, it's a little bit small. I might have to lose some weight. But anyways... <laughs> Uh, let's let's move on to the Magic Eden wallet. So the Magic Eden wallet is kind of setting up the play for the ETH marketplace that Magic Eden is going to drop and in collaboration with Yuga Labs. So that's going to be really interesting. I know I covered this earlier, but the Magic Eden wallet is dropping today. Um, it's the only wallet you'll need for all of your multi-chain NFT needs. Uh, include, you know, I've per I, I downloaded it. Um, it's just an extension, just like MetaMask, but essentially it aggregates everything. You, you can you can use it for you know your DGen stuff on Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, as well as Bitcoin Ordinals. You know, it's instant cross-chain swaps, NFT portfolio management. Um, of course, if you are in Ordinals and BRC20 support. And end to end rare sats management. So there's a little promo video here, but essentially they have a couple of, uh, you know, informational updates here about how, okay, I don't know how to explain this, but essentially you can go check it out. Um, I would give it a try. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm curious and excited to see how the ETH marketplaces will go, especially with the Yuga, um, partnership. So, um, I would keep an eye out for that, but I also wanted to segment over to the grailed origins. So I know vitamin cloud.eth dropped his thread a long while back, but he was right with regards to the origin trait rarity, um, tied to the environment rarity within each category. So take note of the number of deeds and the level of detail of the rarest profile, uh, PFP has in each class. So we have an example here with Kraken, Psychedelic, ma uh, Mallow, Shallow, Sludge, Acid, from common to rare. So we can kind of see as the deed uh, supply gets lower, you can kind of see the associated traits 
of the Kraken PFP get more and more cool. Um, <laughs> so essentially, I honestly think they all look pretty good, uh, to be honest. But of course, the Acid Kraken is amazing. And then he has he has a couple of other ones here, um, you know, going over the Golem, the Mega Jaw. I know the Mega Jaw. I know a lot of people are trying to grab this one. Um, this one looks pretty good, I would say. Uh, we're mad maxing up in here with the bone deed, but I would say the glacial one looks pretty solid as a, as a common too. So that's pretty awesome. Um, we also have the nine tails. I personally do like the step to common one. So I might pick that one up after reveal. Um, but you know, obviously the sky looks awesome as well. So, um, you know, you can de definitely feel free. I'll try to link, uh, this in the description or in the Twitter thread that I'll post, but there's some really cool grailed, uh, PFP traits in this. So I would definitely check it out. And of course, um, are there one of ones? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, props for props is due. Uh, pretty sick posting this on December 1st to uh, kind of get the traits out here. But again, there's an all in one graphic here that kind of shows everything with the grailed uh, PFPs. So um, if you definitely wanted to check and compare, this would be the place to go. So let's move on to Serum City. So if you have a mutant cartel oath hound or a uh, mutant or a bored ape, by all means, you'll be able to claim your pass and basically play the game on February 1st. So that's super dope. Um, I know I covered this in a previous video. You know, these are free to claim. Gas fees still apply. So probably try to mint it on the weekend, especially when people are watching football. I remember uh, last Sunday or yesterday, Gwei was at eight. So that was the time to do it. Maybe everybody's just watching TV. But anyways, use your warm wallet functionality too. That's really important. Um, but again, I know that if you play Serum City, Season one prizes include HQ blessings. So if you have Serum City, you can compete for top achievements and win the rarest limited quantity HQ traits to make the ultimate HQ NFTs. So again, this is created, you know, this is uh, led, I, I guess, built by Faraway GG and Nava Labs. So very similar in uh, game design as, you know, Legends of the Mara. We have vehicle NFTs as well. So if you're playing season one, the prizes are... Uh, vehicle NFT. So if you can craft and burn gear to compete and win in the rarest, uh, win the rarest via app. I can't speak today, guys. Sorry. Um, you can win the rarest vehicle parts and craft the ultimate vehicle NFTs. Vehicle NFTs. Uh, that feels very um, ship party. <laughs> um, so uh, personal speculation, maybe the land traversal mechanic in other side. Just because I know it just feels very. Um, Feels very fitting. Uh, Serum City gives me a lot of Mad Max vibes, so I wouldn't be surprised if the vehicle NFTs has some use case in the future. But that's just my personal speculation, not financial advice. Season two also has the Ape Coin prize pool, so you know if you play season one, you can segue over to season two at some point in the future, and this will be based on cartel ecosystem holdings, in-game play, and the rarity of your HQ and vehicle collection. So, um, you know that's probably some low-hanging fruit, especially if you got uh, if you're building out your portion of the neighborhood in Serum. City. City. So that's all I got for uh, Serum City. Last but not least, Shatterboard and Leaderboard Loot Minting. I already covered this in the past, but this is coming to uh, Legends of Mara this week. So if you have ally loot, if you have um, ship parts, you can you can mint those um, and you will need to use your you can. OK, use your delegations, please use your warm wallets. Um, these will be able to claim and mint all Shattered and Leaderboard loot to the blockchain on behalf of delegated wallets. So I reposted, I made a post on this. So basically, y'all, are you guys ready for a shattered loot? Uh, okay, are you ready for loot minting? And basically, it was between ally parts, ship parts, both, and gonna wait. And it seems like 50%, more than over half of people are going, okay, well, there's only 55 people, but it seems like a lot of people are gonna just mint both of them. We'll have to kind of see how gas feels at that time. Maybe people are gonna wait. I think a lot of people are gonna wait just because we don't know what the gas is gonna be um, and what the floor prices are gonna equalize to. So anyways, that's just kind of wanted to cover. It's a good piece of data. If you wanna take a look at all of the loot, I would recommend taking a look at the game guide for you know the other side wiki you can take a look at all of the loot here uh, all you have to do is go to the uh, other side Le legends of the mara and then just scroll down to the very uh, bottom tab here that says loot and you'll be able to click on that and it will pull up everything it'll pull up literally all of the loot inside of legends of the mara so i'm curious how all of the loot will function in all of the other ecosystems the ally ecosystems so so you know like forgotten runes has the you know, Dark Alchemist key here. And they also have Renga with, you know, a really nice, uh, actually, I don't know what it's called, the cube box. So um, you can kind of see the supply as well. You know, there's like 249. There's, of, of course, there's only five legendary cattle. Oh, we're going to mint those as well. So 
Okay, maybe, maybe okay. I don't know if we're not supposed to be able. To, I don't know if the people who get the catalyst will be able to use them yet, um, because there's no way to use them yet. But anyways, I'm just curious how all of these things will segue uh, out into the ally partnerships as well as how they function within other side and Legends of the Mara. But we'll just have to see. Um, not, we don't know yet. Um, but. Man, I need some Forgotten Roots loot, guys. I'm so, I feel so naked because I have a wizard and I want to play the Runeverse game, but I just don't have any loot. So maybe I might pick up some, uh, maybe I might pick up some of the stuff uh, when it drops on, uh, when people start minting and selling them. But um, we'll have to see what the floor prices uh, drop for the loot. And I don't know if that's going to launch on like Magic Eden, maybe. Uh, seems like everything's quite coming together pretty soon here but anyways that's just kind of wanted to cover i wanted to cover you know the magic eden yuga partnership the magic eden wallet the 10 ktf grail launch you know with the traits the serum city launch as well as the loot so that's all i got for today you guys know where to find me i'll try to have all the links in the description definitely hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps me create a lot more content in the future kind of helps me uh, figure out which way is the best to go so anyways you guys know where to find me i'll see you guys on the other side peace